Uh, my name is Edwin Recolaso. I'm from Esteban, and we're here at Esteban Jerry's Freezer Meats. Esteban Jerry's Freezer Meats offers like fresh meat, deli sandwiches, fresh del deli meats, assorted frozen stuff. We have our in-store made sausages, Asian fusion snack, like the dim sum buns. We introduce here in our meat shop like uh, Filipino dry goods. We have banana ketchup, which is a little bit rare for Canadians to hear banana ketchup because we grew up with this banana ketchup instead of the tomato ketchup, right? Sure. So at Esteban Jerry's Freezer Meats, we catch your steak fresh. It depends on how thick you want it. And we have various kinds of meat that we offer. We have the beef navel, which is the beef belly. We have short ribs, we have tenderloins, oxtails, a brisket for those people who love to smoke. And we have the beef shanks here. We offer better tasting uh, rotisserie chicken. And we have some exotic uh, part of the pork too. So yeah, some they find it gross, but for us we love this. So we have some pork rectum, some pork ears, pork snout, pork stomach. You know, the people from Western countries, usually they don't eat it. Like we have the chicken feet, the beef tendons. One of our favorite in the Philippines, especially when guys or boys are drinking, and we have special parties, is the ears and the snout and the pork rectum. Because we make this like an appetizer, it goes with beer, it goes with any kind of alcohol. So this is what we call the pork sisig. The reason why we open this meat shop is we're get, I'm getting old, a little bit older, and we want to establish and we want to help the community too, because I think I heard from most people that uh, they haven't had this uh, butcher shop in Esteban for a while. So that's also one thing that uh, made us this uh, beautiful place of uh, freezer meats in Esteban. Today we're making some, uh, the in-store recipe for our marinated pork butts, and we call it the Spanish Tocino. We're gonna put some garlic. Uh, we're gonna put some uh, pineapple juice here, or flavorful. There you go. And we're gonna put some brown sugar. Don't share the recipe. <laughs> gonna put some salt. We need some Maggi seasoning here. Gonna put some vinegar and our famous red color in here. <laughs> then we have to mix it, mix it well. You're gonna see the red color on it, which makes it a little bit Spanish. And we're gonna mix this up now. So I have a nice feedback from customers that is buying this dish. So we have nice comments from uh, customers for this dish. The Spanish Tocino. This is basically what we eat breakfast time in the Philippines. If you want to have a little bit heavy breakfast, which we always have heavy breakfast in the Philippines because of the rice. We pan fry this and we're good. And this is Spanish Tocino actually goes with the garlic fried rice. Here's your Spanish Tocino. There you go. So our re uh, second recipe is called the tapa. You're gonna be needing uh, soya sauce for this one. You're gonna put some black pepper. Again, the famous brown sugar. Put our ketchup again, a little bit more. Forget the garlic. We're gonna grab some uh, lemon here. And mix it again. As you can see it has different color. And we have to check the taste. Now we're gonna mix our pork butt again on this marination here. Like you see, we have nice pork but here. So two different dish. 
basically for breakfast as you can see it's uh, brown now I'm starving Curtis <laughs> we have a problem Houston that's our two marinated products we sell at uh, Esteban Jerry's freezer meats and it's really really delicious so you have to try this guys I used to work for the cruise ships, Princess Cruises, for 17 years. And then suddenly I just, uh, just snapped on my mind that I need to, you know, to settle in a nicer, better environment, which is Canada. I love Canada. I love Esteban, especially Saskatchewan. Actually running this as a family business is really exciting and really more, uh, more easy and usually most of the time I work with my other sister her name is Edith and I work with his name is Roy he's like a family too to us so he's a good friend and sometimes my sister here he helps us with you know it coping up with uh, with the customers for me it's a big thing to uh, contribute to to Esteban to the community the place where we are now we're on 4th Street on the, on the main street. So some people, they don't need to go a little bit far. They don't need to drive, especially it's gonna be winter soon. So I can cater most of people that lives around me here in Main Street too. My favorite part of running the store is meeting more, more people, more customers and serving them from my heart too, you know? So that's the best part for me to help these people from Esteban, the community especially. I can contribute to the business in Estevan. Oh, it really feels good to be running our own business and to introduce like our product from the Philippines, you know, and like this exotic food. So we can introduce it to some Canadians and they maybe they will start learning how to eat it and to adapt from it. So first of all, I would like to give all the thanks and praises to Lord Jesus Christ, because without him, I can do this by myself, even with some people's help. And I want to thank my family and to the rest of my sisters. Although we have ups and downs, but they still uh, support me all the way through. I would like to give a big thanks to my wife too, because uh, she's a big help for me. And I would like to thank Esteban itself. <laughs>